all right hello hello welcome to heal and ascend to row so today we're going to do a general love reading keep in mind it is general so it may or may not resonate if you guys are interested in something more personal my information is down below so let's take a look and see what is going on at this point in time we have the card of stuck coming out first okay we have family and we have admired. Okay, wow, so right off the bat, this may not resonate with everyone, but I'm getting a very specific storyline here. I feel like there's someone here that you have a, you have feelings for, they have feelings for you, but it hasn't been moving, like it hasn't been progressing or um, moving forward because of family. Now this could be that maybe one person wants a family or kids and the other person doesn't. This could also be that someone already has a family, like someone is already fully involved, has kids, and so it's almost like maybe they're admiring you or you're admiring them, but there's not much you can do to move the connection forward because someone already has like a family unit established, okay? Um, so those are the two things that I'm getting here. So it seems like it could possibly be like one storyline being more of a love triangle situation where someone already has a family and it's like, you know, there's a connection that you're feeling with this person or vice versa. Um, but it hasn't been moving forward because of that blockage. The other thing is that it could be that you and someone are admiring each other and you see the potential, but one, but you guys are on different pages when it comes to what you want. So let's get some detail on this. Okay. So who is this person? Who is this person that's on your mind? Who is this person that's on your mind? It could be Leo. We have strength here. Okay. This is someone who, um, in the in the world, comes across as quite confident. Okay. This may be someone who doesn't really take a lot of BS from people. I'm getting that this is someone who has a strong personality, okay? Um, I'm just describing your person right now. I'll just move this over. They can also be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. doesn't have to be. This may also, though, be someone who has a bit of a controlling side. Um, someone who, typically, actually, the King of Swords reverse is actually my narcissist card. Now, this doesn't mean that this is person is a narcissist but they may display those qualities like there may I feel like this is a very strong personality this is someone who may be quite intimidating to people um, this may be someone who is hard to like budge like it you can't really shake this person there's a strength here that I'm seeing to this person um, maybe not only physically but also mentally like there's like a mental strength here they may also have a really tough shell to to crack here is what I'm getting okay it's like hard to um, maybe get to the core of this person. So that's what I'm seeing. So let's see, what is their energy towards you? If that resonates with you guys, what is this person's energy towards you? We have the, they're obsessing about their regret. We've got the devil, Capricorn energy, and the five of cups. So currently they're obsessing over their regret in this situation. Uh, so it's like they can't stop thinking about how much they regret. What are, what are they regretting? What is this person regretting in regards to you? They might have cut you off. They might have cut off communication. This definitely could be an air sign because we do have the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords for their energy. Uh, but I am getting a lot of different zodiac signs. But it doesn't really matter. What they're regretting is the communication. So this person might have blocked you. Um, this person might have stopped communicating with you. This person might have avoided you. There's something to do with the communication that they're they're obsessing about how what they did in the past, and they're feeling like they made a mistake or they're feeling like they messed something up here. It's like they can't stop thinking about this regret and it has to do with the communication, lack thereof. Let's pull another card for this person. Yeah, it's conclusion. So from their perspective, this situation might have ended they might have ended this situation. I'm feeling with the conclusion card coming through in their energy, they might have ended things by like stopping the communication. Maybe they just stopped talking to you or they told you that they didn't want to talk to you anymore or something along those lines. Um, so now they're obsessing that they did the wrong thing. It's almost like, you know, you make a decision and then you look back and you go, oh my God, I made a mistake. And then you start fixating on it. So they're, they're really thinking about this conclusion that occurred. 
between the two of you and how they should have done things differently is what I'm feeling. So let's take a look at your energy. We'll keep that deck for them. We'll use this deck for you. So let's take a look at you. So my viewer, who are you? Now keep in mind, roles can be reversed. So you may resonate more with that storyline. So you are coming through as the Ace of Swords. Oh my gosh, you guys both have the Five of Cups. So it almost seems like both of you are in regret about whatever happened. I'm going to get some detail on whatever happened in a minute. Um, but, okay, so you are the Ace of Swords and the Five of Cups. I feel like you're someone who is a very honest person. Like, you keep it, you tell it how it is. You speak the truth. It's not likely that you're someone who's going to lie in a relationship or lie in a connection. You just tell it how it is. I also feel like you're someone who has experienced a lot of disappointment in life. Um, and you're almost... Even if you have a new opportunity present itself to you, you have a tendency to focus always on what you've lost, is what it's telling me. Because, again, these two cards just represent you as a person. doesn't necessarily mean um, this is how you're feeling about this person. This is just more so who are you to see if this resonates. But I feel like you're a very honest person. But sometimes I feel like maybe this honesty actually ends up getting you in, in sticky situations. But I'm also seeing here that even if something good was presented to you, you may have a tendency to focus solely on what has gone wrong. I'm seeing like a focus on the past a lot. So what is this, uh, what ended or what happened between you and this person? Let's get some detail. We have milestone. Okay. So I always kind of see this as a wedding card, to be honest. Like this reminds me of a wedding. So this could possibly be that, again, if there's wedding here, maybe someone got married to someone else. Maybe someone was already married to someone else. Um, I am feeling like I'm hearing wedding. So the blockage, again, it could be like, or it could also be that maybe someone really wanted to bring it to that level. Like maybe someone wanted marriage. The other person was like, no, that's not something I want in my life. Like I don't want to be married. Right? And then one person's like, well, I do. So how is this going to work? And maybe things ended because you weren't on the same page. Again, with this family concept, um, like one person could have wanted like the wedding and the kids, the other person didn't. Now, the other thing I'm getting is that what could have ended this is that someone was already married and someone already maybe had a family and kids with someone else. So what, do, how do you feel about this person? What's your energy towards them? Wow, you guys are getting the same cards. Do you notice that? So you guys have the Five of Cups. They have the Five of Cups. They have the Knight of Swords reversed. Same direction in reverse for the Knight of Swords and upright for the Five of Cups. So you're not speaking to them? You guys are definitely not speaking because we have those two cards in reverse. So someone you're not talking to. And you're not giving them your love. Ace of Cups in reverse. It's like you're trying to suppress these feelings that you have. Um, for them, why is the Ace of Cups reversed? Is that some of you guys are trying to kind of avoid like the feelings that you have for this person in hopes that maybe you'll meet someone better or someone new. But I think you're struggling. That's what I was saying. Remember, I was saying like even if something new came, I feel like you're still focusing on this past person, which could be why you're getting a reading on them. So let's get a card for you. Okay, we have the Warrior in reverse for your energy towards this person. This makes me feel like you gave up on them. I feel like at one point you really fought for this connection, but then at some point you decided to give up. Whoa. Tell me more about this connection, Spirit. Way too many cards I wanted to come out of us. Tell me more about this connection. We have Guide. So, yeah, it seems to me like you have taken some time to yourself. They have taken some time to themselves. And look, there's a barrier, exactly. It's like there's, this connection is not panning out. Um, I think a lot of you are disappointed about how things went. They're also as well, like again, remember, this person is in, is obsessing about the regret of how the communication went. But there is a, there's literally like an energetic barrier here. Let's see from the spirit's perspective, what is this barrier? What is the barrier here between you and this person? Clarify barrier. 
The Ten of Swords. Yeah, I told you guys. I'm getting the same card. I'm getting the same energy. I mean, like, we have the conclusion card. It says the end. The Ten of Swords is always about an ending, often painful, um, but an ending nonetheless. Clarify Barrier. And the Emperor. Yeah, it's like, since the situation ended... Now, it could have ended because... Um, like another thing that I'm getting here is that I feel like your person is very stuck in their ways. Like I'm getting that strongly. Like it's like they were saying before, they're very stubborn. It's hard to get them to budge. Some of you might have had to turn your back on this person because you you felt like they weren't um, participating with you. Like if you notice the body language of this emperor, he just wants to be in control rather than. Um, like compromise and some of you might have had to turn your back on this situation here because you felt like it wasn't ever going to go anywhere with that barrier So I'm as a reader just kind of curious as to why you're getting a reading on this person because it does seem like it's over I feel like a lot of you have given up on this person already And some of you are trying to keep your options open, but I think you kind of get you get fixated on the past. That could be why you're stuck. It's like you're kind of stuck a little bit on this person. You're trying to pretend you don't have feelings anymore. You're trying to stuff them down, but they're still there with the Ace of Cups in reverse. This may also be blocking new love from coming in for some of you guys. So let's take a look and see what their intentions are. So this person on your mind, what are their intentions here? We have the world. They want to get closure. They just want to get closure and be happy. We've got the sun and the world. So this is still deeply affecting them, this ending. And so for them, it's like they just want to get some sort of closure so that they can be happy. Because I feel like it ha they haven't been able to be happy since this ending. So they're hoping to get maybe closure from you. What is it that you're wanting? What are your intentions here? You're not really wanting to give them this closure, I feel. We have the three of pentacles in reverse. It's like, yeah, the Ten of Swords. You're See, I'm telling you guys, it's telling me that you're done with this person. We have the Ten of Swords twice, and this Ten of Swords is the woman walking away. We have a woman here who's been hurt, I think, by the communication. And Three Pentacles Reverse would tell me that you're not really wanting to collaborate with this person. It's almost like, I think a lot of you are over this. You're. It's like you're done. You don't want to revive it. But I do think that it still impacts you. You know what I mean? Like, you know how you look back, back on past people? Even though you want to move forward, you still, it's like you are, you guys are still hurting, I feel like, by this person or it's still affecting you. But ultimately, it's telling me that you want to be done. And they really want to get some sort of closure because they want to be happy. I don't think that they're happy. But the Five of Cups, it would tell me that they're actually quite sad about whatever happened. And they, look at this, the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords here. Look at this. Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords. There was a lot of pain here. Um, and they just want to be free and happy, but a lot of you guys are not really even wanting to give this person closure um, Because maybe what what maybe because of what they did to you Let's see if they have a message for you Does this person have a message we have I miss holding you okay, so you have someone here who does miss you since things ended um I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have um, some sort of, I don't want to say power, but a little bit. You have some sort of power over this person because they're in such deep regret. So if you guys did walk away from them, this, even if they don't show it, this deeply impacted them. Like they really questioned and are questioning their actions and what they did. And a lot of them are in this energy of missing you and almost feeling like in order for them to be happy, they need some closure for you, from you, sorry, but I don't think you guys are wanting to give it to them. Some of you may want this person to like, um, this sounds kind of bad, but like, it's almost like some of you may want this person to suffer if you felt you had to suffer. For others of you, if that's not the case, you just want to end it. Like you just want to be done with it and just move on. But I think you're here because there's still energy that's lingering between the two. It's still like maybe there's still cords that need to be cut between the two of you. So let's see if we can get some advice from Spirit. So for those who are watching, what is the advice? For those who are watching, what is the advice here? 
We have guide, the illuminated path, number 21. So let's see what this message is. You are free to create the path that lies before you, and you have the strength to see it through, no matter which, which one you may take. It's time to seek this wisdom of your own inner guide. Meditate and ask if a new or different direction regarding business, family, or personal matter is called for. Then muster up the courage and self-trust to take the necessary steps forward. This card can indicate the coming in of a new teacher into your life. It may be someone who advises you in a specific personal area, or it could be someone who pursues a more spiritual path. Let yourself be open to the guidance and inspiration such new teachers bring. So the two things that I'm getting here is that for a lot of you guys, you're needing to focus on connecting to your own intuition, especially when it comes to this connection, and really meditating on that and seeing what the best decision is. I think a lot of you already made the decision to leave. Some of you guys are just wanting the like validation that you did make the right decision, okay? The other thing I'm seeing here is that for some of you who are feeling a little bit lost since you walked away from this person, one thing that may help you to get back on track is to seek out someone who can guide you. This could be a teacher, this could be a coach, anyone in that sort of spiritual field who can give you some advice and guidance to help you kind of nudge you in the right direction. Um, there are certain times in our life where we open up to teachers and guidance and there are certain times where we just trust our own intuition. Either way, even if you are working with someone, it is always important to trust your intuition. But I'm seeing if you've been thinking about that, if you've been thinking about opening up to teachers, then this would be a great time to do it. Okay, but this is what I have for you. So I truly hope that this reading was helpful. If you want to book something more personal, my information is down below in the description box. All right, but I'm sending you absolute love and light and I wish you all of the best on your journeys. Take care.